adding a Dutch cable, changing ridges, changing walls to gables and parapets. So let's have a look at that. So first of all, if you want to add a Dutch, you click on the surface that you want to add it to. You're going to right click, you say insert roof, and then you can specify the pitch, which we're not going to do. That's when you want to do Polynesians or something like that. But here we want to choose cable, and then it asks to specify the height over the reference. And this is basically your height over your ceiling reference. I'm going to stick with the one meter that is set up by default and just click enter. And you can see that's how quick and easy it is to add a Dutch gable to one of your hips. The other thing that you can do is to get a gable. That's fairly easy. So again, you click on the hip surface and then you just press delete and it changes it to a gable. Creating a parapet would involve selecting your plane line and then where it says dimension here which is 300 for a gable you will type in a negative wall thickness value in there and enter that will take the roof surfaces to the inside then you want to select your wall hold control select the plane and select that plane right click on raise wall to surface and then specify a vertical dimension in case I'm going to use minus 300 which will give you a parapet wall and enter and let's press F3 to have a look and you can see that wall becomes a parapet wall then. changing your ridges so for instance if you want to match this ridge onto that ridge what you're going to need to do is, is select your three roof surfaces, right click, calculate pitch. Then here you can choose keep the eaves height or the heel height. For this example, we're going to hold the eaves height. It's going to ask you where do you want to move it from. So I'm going to choose that point. And then I'm going to choose a height point on the main building. And you can see the software then modifies those to match your reach.